<clears throat> All right, Jeremy, I have your tiny whoop here. And I'm just going to show you real quick how to bind it so that you don't have to take it apart or anything or think that you need to. Because you don't. Uh, the bind button is just right up under the canopy here. And you might not be able to see it on camera, but when you get it in person, if you look right there, you can see the silver right there, that silver piece. That's it right there. So you can get to it very easily. See, watch, I'll push this in here. And I'm pushing on it. Listen, you can hear it click. Okay, so it's that easy. So you just want your radio in D8 mode, um, hit bind, and then hold that down while you're plugging in the battery. You'll see the LEDs on the bottom go out. That means it's binding. Hit the bind button again on your radio, unplug the battery, plug the battery back in, and then the LEDs will be back on and they won't be flashing. And that means that you're bound. And you'll also see on your radio the telemetry. See, it'll say telemetry recovered or telemetry lost if you unplug it. And you'll see the RSSI signal right there. So you'll know that it's bound. And then uh, I got it set for auxiliary one is arm. And auxiliary two on mine is right here, but that's the flight modes. And I believe this just has a uh, horizon and air mode set up. So let me uh, turn on my screen here and I'll show you the video. Looks like it's on A7. So there you go. And then this is what it looks like when it's armed. You got your uh, battery voltage, RSSI, and then a timer. That's it. That's all I like to have. You can set it up however you want. but. So yeah, there you go. This thing is just so awesome. The video doesn't pick it up, but it changes colors from like green to blue or purple or something. I don't know, but... It's it the camera doesn't pick it up, but it's so awesome in person. So anyway, yeah, I'll be uh, sending this out tomorrow and send you over tracking. All right, thanks, Jeremy.